Hey, what's going on guys? My Nama East Anthony, or Big B Stats, as I throw in a little bit of German there. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you know I've been trying to learn some German. Uh, but I've been pretty rusty. I have not really done my studies on German. Um, as you all know, I took a trip to Germany to see my girlfriend uh, a couple months back, and it was freaking awesome, and I loved it, and I miss it to death. Uh, but anyway... This feels really weird. Not necessarily weird in a bad way, but weird in a good way. I haven't done a commentary in such a long time. I haven't sat down in front of some gameplay and I haven't really recorded my voice about me ranting on and ranting on about nothingness of somethingness. You get what I'm saying. Take that to the heart. Oh yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I decided to throw some Battlefield 4 beta gameplay up. Um, I haven't been a really huge Battlefield uh, player, but I do love my first-person shooters. So, I just decided to play the beta and get some really good kills or whatnot. We'll get some kills and play some domination, but overall, I really like it. Uh, the graphics don't look too great because, you know, it's just a beta. So, I'm pretty sure it will be a lot better once the full game comes out. But anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing really well. Hopefully, your day is going great. Maybe you're in school sneaking watching this video or maybe you are at home watching this video or whatnot, uh, but hopefully um, we got an introduction across each other and I said hello and you said hello back. Uh, <laughs> man, I'm rusty at these things. Uh, so anyway, I do want to cover some things with you guys today and I do want to talk about some life stuff. I want to talk about how my days has been, uh, what's been going on in my life, uh, the good stuff, the bad stuff, the not so caring stuff or whatnot. Uh, but overall, I had the worst day today. Now, I want to talk to you guys about overcoming the worst day ever. And it may help, it may not help, but um, I don't think I've ever had the worst day ever, but today was pretty darn bad. So, uh, to start it off, I normally go to the gym around 5, 5.30, and <clears throat> yesterday I went to the gym, and, you know, it's me and, like, a bunch of old ladies. I have some old ladies at the gym that, like, they call me their mom, so it's, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of like, I don't know if they have some kind of weird fetish against me, or... They just really, really love me. <laughs> no, they're the sweetest, like, ladies I know, seriously. And they're just so kind of hearted. They're, like, 70 years old, but they're still lifting weights. So it's like I have no freaking excuse on why I shouldn't do anything. Uh, so, you know, we get there at 5.30. Everybody's waiting outside. And we're all waiting and waiting. And the lady never shows up to the gym. So it gets pushed uh, to about 6.30. So I'm waiting there for an hour outside. You know, and I'm just like... Darn it, you know, I, I definitely want to go to the gym this morning. I stayed up. As you all know, I do work night shift, which freaking sucks. But, you know, it, it comes with... It, it, that, that's just life. You just have to understand that. there's Nothing's going to be perfect in life, so you just kind of have to roll with the punches. P come here. Come here. Oh, there we go. Uh, I said punches. <laughs> you have to roll with the punches. So, I do that. Uh, the gym doesn't come. Well, the, the lady never shows up. So, I go, I go back home. I go to sleep. I wake up, my power's off. We have a power outage in our apartment complex. Uh, so keep in mind, I do have to go to work today. And prior to that, I took out food to cook for work, which I was trying to make lasagna. I haven't made lasagna before. So I was like, today's the day that I'm going to make some lasagna. So I, I try to make some lasagna. And it doesn't work out, of course, because I don't have power. So I'm like, damn it, I need to go to my mom's house to, to try and cook and shower and do all this before I go to work. So I pack up all this stuff. I scramble everything uh, that I need, that I think I need. Uh, as far as, like, the food ingredients, my clothes. I go to my mom's, and time is pushing where I have to go to work. I start cooking, and I realize I forgot the ground beef at home. Which is, like, that just literally, like, my heart exploded at that point. Because I'm just like... No, foo! And I'm just so angry at that point. Uh, but anyway, how I overcame this terrible, terrible day, and then I had to go to work. Uh, but I ended up buying ground beef and doing all this stuff. But you kind of have to look on the bright side of things. You know, I looked at the fact that hey, I'm still alive. Uh, that's one thing. You always want to be thankful for every day that you wake up, uh, which I think that's important. And sorry if the video kind of glitches a little bit. I don't know why my capture card was acting up. And you kind of have to just understand that. That life is what it is sometimes, and there's some things that you cannot change, and some things are out of your control, and you really have to accept that, which is which can be a tough thing too at, at some times, but you definitely have to accept that, and you have to understand that you know every all bad things are are not forever, and they're just temporary. So I was able to overcome this terrible, terrible day. I got home, listened to some old school, old school music, which was like Casanova and all that good stuff, uh, which that's an awesome song. 
Uh, but again, understand you guys, if you're having a rough day, always, always try to look on the bright side of things. There's nothing, and there's always someone out there that has it ten times worse than you. So just, just always try to look on the bright side of things. But I'm a little rusty at doing commentary as well. I'll try to get back into it, so I decided to do this old school thing. But I do want to say I really appreciate you guys, and I love you guys a lot. And maybe I'll do some more commentaries in the future, but I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to drop a like, it's much appreciated, and be sure to subscribe. And until the next, I'll talk to you comrades later. Peace out.